There we go. Okay. You're good? Yep. <clears throat> I'm not prepared for this. Hold on. <laughs> Why are we so awkward? Because <laughs> we're book nerds? I guess that's true. Hello everybody, welcome to the Book Buddies. I'm Katie. And I'm Kayleen. And today we're going to talk about the books we brought to college. Woo! We brought too many. <laughs> well, no, I get to read them all. Way too many. Okay, so I brought a total of thirteen, 13 books, um, but I'm just going to be showing like the series all at once because that's too many. Otherwise, anyway. So this is actually Kayleen's book. <laughs> this is Assassin's uh, Apprentice by Robin Hobb. I'm actually currently reading it, which is why it has my bookmark in it. But yeah, I brought this here, technically speaking, because I had already borrowed it before I got here. This is just about a man named, or a kid named Fitz and the Fool, which is basically what the series is about, I guess. What? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there's more to it than that. There is more they to it, but things. I don't know how to, they do do things, but I'm not really sure how to explain it without giving out spoilers. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. We haven't done this in a while. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> okay, I brought eight books to college, not counting others that I have ordered. <laughs> so the first one was Little Women by Louisa May Alcott, and it's one of the classics. I've actually already read it and just forgot to take it home. But it's about four sisters and basically them growing up and learning lots of life lessons along the way. I liked it. The next book I brought was The Emperor of the Eight Islands, The Tale of Shikanoko by Leon Heron. And this is book one to a series. I have no idea what it's about. Absolutely none. <laughs> but it was like 10% off because somebody had spilled coffee on it and it was looks like it's about some sort of samurai or something and that seemed interesting. So I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so, in the interlude of videos, I started reading Harry Potter, and I am now waiting for a long amount of time so I can start the fifth book. So this is Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Uh, I obviously can't say anything about it because spoilers, but you know, it's about Harry Potter, so... Everybody knows Harry Potter, mm -hmm. so I'm, I, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> the next book I got is The Beast Within by... Just says Valentino on the side. Hold on. Ah, Serena Valentino. <laughs> and I'm assuming this is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. I mean... But, um, I'm not completely sure what it's about. I never know what books are about. I just buy them. Um, but I really, like, love the Beauty and the Beast. It's, like, my favorite fairy tale. So, and, I mean, this cover. It's so cute. Even so. when it's staring at you? Even when it's staring at me when I'm trying to sleep. That was the worst revelation ever. <laughs> it's awful. Okay, the next book is called The Lady of Misrule by Susanna Dunn, and it's historical fiction based off of Lady Jane Grey, and so this is from the perspective of one of her servants. And yeah, I haven't gotten a chance to read it. I've had it since May. <laughs> But hopefully, eventually, I will have a chance. <laughs> the next books I brought were a series, and they are the Wendla trilogy. The first book is The Search for Wendla, second book is The Hero for Wendla, and the third book is The Battle for Wendla. And this is just about a girl who's way out of her element on a planet she does not understand. <laughs> and it's very interesting. It's very, very weird. <laughs> It's very weird, <laughs> but it's really interesting, and it's really fun, I think. Um, I read this one last year. I finished it last January when I was stuck in a chair <laughs> for like <laughs> six months. <laughs> so you sat in a chair <laughs> I really couldn't sometimes. It was awful. But anyway, <laughs> I pretty much just sat and read the entire time. So I finished this one and I just got these two not that long ago. And I'm really hoping to finish this series soon because I really really like it. Oh, and this is by Tony Ditcherlitzi, by the way. I did not say that earlier. And it's also got, because he's an illustrator, it's got illustrations. And who doesn't love illustrations? I mean, come on. Okay, the next book I brought is Best of Me by Nicholas Sparks, because my guilty pleasure is Nicholas Sparks. 
I have started reading it and I am enjoying it, but I got distracted by other books. But I do plan to finish it and I made a movie out of it a long time ago. So yeah, basically these kids fall in love and then due to circumstances they are separated and then find each other again. Like every Nicholas Sparks book? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, there's some where like... That's true. There's like some angstiness, like, oh, I don't know if this will work out. But I you know how you can always tell it's a Nicholas Sparks book, even before reading it, is there's always the white people almost kissing. <laughs> <laughs> On all the covers. It's like almost always. The longest white ride's not like that. Kissing. My copy of that one doesn't like it. Yeah, but this is the movie cover. For this one. It's the longest ride. on a horse on the bottom, I think. I don't remember. The next book I have is The Trials of Apollo by Rick Riordan. This book has been out for like a year and I haven't read it because I haven't, no, <laughs> because I haven't finished The Heroes of Olympus yet. Speaking of which, no, <laughs> you haven't finished the, the first know. three. Yes. I haven't had time. <laughs> but so these two, yeah, I can't, I don't know what this one's really about. It's Apollo gets cursed by Zeus to become a teenager, I think, and I don't really know anything past that, and I'm not going to say anything because this is the last book in the series, so obviously, and I'm assuming most people know about this series by now. <laughs> okay, my next book is Rook by Sher Sharon Cameron, and I think, yeah, it's kind of somewhat based off of the French Revolution, but it's like it's happening again in the future. And there's like history and intrigue, and it's another one I just haven't gotten around to reading yet because you know, college classes, <laughs> life, <laughs> yeah, reading textbooks. Okay. The next series I have is the Magisterium series, which I have the first three because they're the only three that are out, and it's the Iron Trial, the Copper Gauntlet, and the Bronze Key, and I love these so much. <laughs> like, I love them so much. She's gotten me two of them. So, like, for the past two Christmases, she's been giving them to me. But yeah, this is about a um, kid named Cal who goes through the Iron Trial, which is what this is in, like, the first chapter of this one, and tries really hard to fail, but ends up getting accepted anyway. And a lot of really interesting things happen afterward. This series is so good. I love it so much. I don't know why people say it's a Harry Potter ripoff because there's like two or three things similar and then that's about it. But people are still saying it's a Harry Potter ripoff. I'm not okay with it. <laughs> not okay. Okay, my next one is Life of Pi by Yann Martell. And she's read it. I haven't. It's so good. <laughs> um, yeah, um, I've seen the movie and was very intrigued and then I found this book for like a couple pounds. I happen to be in England. That's that's why it was in pounds. Um, <laughs> and yeah, I don't know how to describe this. It's in like a shipwreck. Yeah, he's in a shipwreck and he gets stuck on a boat with some creatures, some animals. Yeah, like hunters, it's like a, animals. It's survived. a survival story story, but it's supposed to be like all these like philosophical thinkings as well. And it's very interesting. It's a good. It's a good book. It depends on what you like. You might not agree with what he's trying to say, but even still, it's yeah. it's really fun to read. I, I know the movie was like very like visually pleasing, and even in the book, it's visually pleasing. Like and he goes into pretty good detail of everything that's going on, which is really weird to say that it's visually pleasing because you can't actually see it, but at the same <laughs> time, it's still like you know. Yep. Okay. <laughs> the next book I have is *The Haunting of Charles Dickens* by Lewis. Busby. I also did not tell you, these are by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare. I don't know why I always forget to say the author's name, but I always forget to say the author's name. Anyway, this one has illustrations too. I, again, no idea what this is about. <laughs> um, I think it's either there's like, there's either somebody haunting Charles Dickens or Charles Dickens is haunting somebody. I don't remember. <laughs> it sounded interesting though when I bought it, because I got it off of Book Outlet. So, and I mean, it was like, four dollars like why wouldn't i get it for four dollars come on 
Okay, my next book is Afterworlds by Scott Westerfeld. I also have a Scott Westerfeld addiction. I think I've only read Pretties, though. Like, that series. The Ugly series? Uh-huh. You didn't read the last one of it, either, though. No, you only read I read Extras. Series. Did you read Extras? Yeah, I read Extras. Oh, you didn't read Extras. Sarah didn't read Extras. <laughs> it wasn't as good as the other ones. Yeah, that's what I've heard. But anyway, <laughs> this is by far the chunkiest book I have brought to college, excluding possibly, like, textbooks. Actually, no. No, this is heavier than my textbooks. <laughs> <laughs> this one's also hardback. Most textbooks aren't hardback. Yeah, that's a good point. But anyway, this is about a young author who writes a book, and it's in the process of being published. And so half of it is about her, and half of it is her actual book. So you can, I don't know if you can see this, but where it's black is, like, the book, and where it's white is, like, her story. And, yeah, I'm just really intrigued, and I like the cover, Yeah, be like, I, I own this really hefty, really intelligent looking book, can't you see? Like, here, <laughs> look at it. <laughs> <I'm> smart. <laughs> Everybody has those kinds of books, though, where you're just like, see, I've read this, I own this, I'm smart. Like, it's like that bragging kind of, like, yeah. see, like with me and Sherlock Holmes. My last book is Bawi Yaga by Tony Barlow. Um, I have no idea who Tony Barlow is. Honestly, the person who wrote Bobby Yaga? Yes, that's true. And apparently <laughs> Sharp Teeth. I've never heard of that either. Um, but anyway, this is a uh, mystery novel set in Russia in the like, 1930s, I think? Um, no, 1959. It's in Paris. Then why is it called Baba Yaga? <laughs> Baba Yaga is a mythological um, Russian witch. So I really don't know what Baba Yaga has to do with it if it's in Paris. I was just assuming it was in Russia because of Baba Yaga. See, I never read the <laughs> synopsis ever. <laughs> and when I do, it's like brief and I get like three things out of it. <laughs> I think so some of them must be, yeah, Eastern refugees. Okay, I guess that makes sense then. I don't know. And my last book is World War I Love Stories by Gil Paul and their real life romances from the war that shook the world. And if you happen to follow our Goodreads, which I believe are still tagged on our channel. I think so, yeah. This has been on there probably since I, like, we stopped filming. It's been there since last January. Yeah, so they are, they're true stories. Supposedly there's happy ones in here, but I haven't gotten to them yet. <laughs> so I kind of got a little disheartened and just haven't picked it up. This is another one of those books that you own and it's like, I look intelligent. This is a non-fiction story about World, World War One. <laughs> <laughs> well, I own like a really short biography of J.R.R. Tolkien, but it's just my Tolkien obsession. So, so those were all of the books. This was a really awkward video. <laughs> we're not good at this. <laughs> but um, yeah, if you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe. I don't understand why people say rate. I don't know, you can't really rate videos, so I, I don't know why people say that. In the comments. I guess, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Could you do that before? I don't remember being able to do that ever. Well, I'm pretty sure you could put whatever you wanted in the comments. That's true. I have no idea. But anyway. <laughs> 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 so that was our first video in like a year, like actual video, not including my weird update thing that was a couple of months ago. My hair is blue now and green and purple. It's not, it's not pink anymore. <laughs> I'm rambling at this point, so we should probably go. <laughs> <laughs> so, bye. Bye. My next book. I'm gonna put these down now before I drop them. <laughs> but anyway, it's a pretty cover. So, yeah, there's an owl. I like owls. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Oh. This fancy little heart-shaped bookmark. Oh, that's an Epic Reads bookmark. Yeah. Yeah, I actually did that and happened to have pretty paper. Ooh. It came out pretty well. <laughs> it actually looks even better since it's been squished in a book for that's several, true. several years. Not years? years. <laughs> <laughs> it's been squished in the book for a year. We need to do a thumbnail. Yeah, I don't know how to do a thumbnail. Okay, here's how you do a thumbnail. You hold up your books. Mm-hmm. And then you just kind of smile, 
And then as you're editing, you take a screenshot. Oh boy, this is gonna be intense. Is the screen still filming? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, we're good, we're good. How long is the video? 16 minutes. Oh dang. Dead gummit, this is not good. I can cover my face. Oh gosh. But then you have to hold it where the spines aren't facing out, or else everyone knows what you're talking about. Oh yeah, dang it. <laughs>